If you are coming to Thailand and want to travel just like a local people, this video will bring you to Gok Wai Island. My name is Dan, and I bring this journey to you. Hi hey guys, I'm going to Gok Wai early morning today, but I'm still here at the laundry. I haven't done laundry for a long time. I have to start driving for the morning. I have to get six hour drive and then get ferry. I have to be there before lunch time. So let me finish my laundry and you guys come to Gok Wai with me. See ya. So right now I'm just looking for the cafe, but somehow I just passed by how you call it um, the lighthouse where most of the boat depart. The pier that I'm leaving is not this one. This one for the other ferry, but I'm going with the smaller, smaller boat, which is gonna be the pier, which is just right there. So that's the quick view of the area. Now I'm gonna go for the coffee. I got half an hour. I'm here, I'm arriving at the pier and just waiting for the boat to depart. Um, I thought the boat would depart at 12, but it's not. It's gonna be departing at 12.30. So I am just have to wait. And it's happened to be like, I'm arrived here, I get my car parked at the car park and there's no toilet. So what happened is if I really need to go for a pee, you know, I have to walk out really far that way, right? There's no toilet at the pier here. So I asked, what should they do? He just say, you should get down there, right? Find your right spot and just let it go. <laughs> it's a bit weird because people are around us here. But yes, I had to do it. So just make sure when you come to this pier, when you park the car or anything, just ask people first that where is the toilet? Just get the toilet, go to the toilet, get it done and that's it. Otherwise you have to do the same thing as I did. I just arrived at the resort, well at the beach and at the island actually. Gawai Island is stunning guys. This is the place you need to be for the castaway. You definitely have to come here. And I'm just going for the check-in. Nothing much to do here but you know if you come here it's the time for the relax. And this is where we're coming for the check-in. This is... Wow guys, you cannot miss it here. Here we are. That's the room. We got a bit of balcony up here. I'll climb up and show you how it is. But this is it. This is the room, guys. Not much. Very simple. Very ordinary down to earth. You know. And... So that's it. This place is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Stunning. I've been to many beaches, many islands. This is one of the islands that impressed me most. Whether it's gonna be the sand, you know, the beach, the sea, and the feeling that you get there. Feeling of small island that when you kind of missing out on the pub, bar, and the big restaurant. When you're in the city, you're working. It's all stress. And this is all you need. Just the beach, the wave, mountain so let's let's go and see what lunch i have i'm waiting for the food i just ordered ka pao and i, I believe everyone knows ka pao right so i'm having my lunch with ka pao and you should know the dish right the dish of ka pao is very famous I am having it with the prawns and the eggs as usual. I missed the information that at this place they don't have the towel for you. So you need to bring your own towel. 
I'm lucky that I got a small cloth, two of them, and my wife, she bring her own like a big piece of cloth, so we use that instead. Make sure when you come here, you bring your own towel, otherwise you may be trouble in making yourself dry. 900 baht per person for three days, two nights. So that's the price of the bungalow. And it got that right in front of the beach. You couldn't find anywhere like this. If you go to Phuket and you get something like this, it's going to be up to 14,000, I believe. But this is very back to basic. It's just a bungalow. That's, again, I say this, no toilet. You have to walk to the toilet. That's why it's so cheap. It's really good. It's just one bed, nothing else. The bed, the bungalow, and the view. But the island itself is is really amazing, guys. It's opposite to Got Shang. Got Shang is just opposite to me. Um, and next to this one is going to be Got Mark and then Got Good. Those two islands are so good. I'm sure I'm going to bring you there as well. I've been to Got Good. I love it. Got Mark, I also love it. But this is even smaller. So it gives you that special feeling of Castaway. When you watch the movie Castaway, you know. Um, that when you feel like you're trapped on the island that's not much thing to do so when you go to Phuket you go to Got Tao you always have that a bit of drinking habit you know if you are party people so you don't really relax but if you come here there's not much for you to choose to do so yeah it is a real relaxed time after the lunch I may go back to the bedroom I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm going to have some rest but after that I'm gonna walk across the, the hill it's not that high so I, I would think it's called the hill right um, we're gonna go and watch the sunset we probably do the kayaking tomorrow the snorkeling also tomorrow today I just want some rest so we have full day tomorrow we was planning to do the fishing for the squid fishing I don't know if I use that right word but the tour is off because the driver boat is broken they are fixing it right now I've just walked through it a little bit of trekking I think that's maybe 5 to 10 minutes walk and we arrive here at this beach so this, this is another one that gives you a really chill feeling it's more private here colored water is really like clear crystal clear and green really really green you can see that can you see my foot can you see my feet and opposite to us that's got shang it's not very really clear today that's maybe a bit of dusty normally you should see it more clear than this but i like it here it depends on which one you choose the, this is still the same resort they have the bungalow along the way from the start right through to the end I've just got back from trekking and we decided to have a bit of walk to the sea the water is colder than usual because it's the end of rainy season and getting into Thai winter really nice place to stay this is dead quiet over there that's there's a bit of um, the beach which I said more private because if you look at this one is longer during the daytime there will be the group tour that visit the island and they will walk around sit down on the beach so that's less private but on the other one there it's 100 percent really private the color is it clear very very clear you must come here guys there's no wave at all you can see it's very nice and still sea. I like it here. It gives me that castaway feeling I'm telling you. I'll go for the dinner tonight. The food here is good. But I have to try a few more because I only ordered one dish. I just tried it. So I need a bit more of the food before I can tell you how is the chef here. That's really give me more time to explore the island even though I didn't go across the mountain to see the sunset because of the rain but just by being here just enjoy the beach the sea sit down relax it does really give you the strength back the food is good as well the price is amazing guys
so after we we went for the swim um, we had to do the shower uh, after the shower we just you know rest a bit so after that we just come for the dinner at this place the electric will allow you to use they use the machine to pump the electric for from 5 30 until 8 p.m i think so whatever you want to charge you charge now and we have a quick dinner then it's time to rest i'm sure we're gonna wake up tomorrow very early we're gonna do some some shooting of the sunrise we're gonna do the climbing in the late afternoon it's a bit of climbing to see the sunset as i told you earlier so that's it not much to do but here yeah, is meal um the part the price is fair this is just the right and omelet it's 80 baht um, this one is the spicy salad i didn't see the price forgot this 150 is the macaroni well the pasta with the prawns so that the price is fair if you come here then this is what you can expect let me finish my meal because i'm hungry now i finished the meal and now walking back to the room i'm gonna walk a bit on the beach i think i found the hermes crab right is that what you call the crab that went and live into the shell so in the morning maybe better but i saw a few of them around so just have a look around here um the electric will be finished soon and it's all i expect it's all gonna be dark but it's gonna give us different feeling i'm waiting for it i think it, it gonna give you something like really back into the nature ah oh, there, there it is you've seen this before right i just saw this one and the crab carries something i think that's their food but this guy is huge guy this guy is huge comparing to the other two that we found this is really big one so he's big he got the claw so just watch out for the claw as well his claw will be just like um all the crabs he can bite you you know yeah. so i had to throw him away because i thought he tried to snip me the other two are much smaller and when i hold them they're just not there to do anything but this guy he there to snip me so no man you need he's huge one i let him go now we're gonna go to bed and try not to use mobile phone so we can really chill and relax and gain our energy after the hard work in bangkok you're gonna love it the sound of the nature and the sea really relax guys morning guys not really morning but i had a good sleep right now i'm going to the toilet first i show you how the toilet is as well the toilet is not that good nice and clean definitely nice and clean uh, and the shower is kind of running slowly so if you want to clean after the sea it can be done but it's not the best out there you know but for me it's good enough with the price and the way they are cast away from the other island plus this morning the view is much better you know, at the back you can see the island now. you can see Koh Chang so this is the second morning actually the first morning yesterday I came at lunch so first morning here really nice it's pretty quiet it seems like everyone maybe still staying at a room we're going to have a brunch it's 11 p.m now guys i got all the table for myself it looks like we reserved the whole resort it's a breakfast actually a brunch and you can expect the basic food i have a beautiful brunch and my coffee here it's pretty hot so make sure that you order coffees as you want and the breakfast for you On the second day after the breakfast, I'm actually met with two guys, Joe's and his friend. They are doing the hobby sailboat, which you know they're gonna sail around the island. They come from Chang Island, which is interesting that they got the motor at the back, they got the paddle. That means if there's no wind, they could use the motor. Or if there's 
run of the model, the worst case they use the pedal button. It looks very interesting to me to go around from one island to the other island. It looks good fun. So who knows, maybe in the future I might do one of this as well. This is the new bungalow. They have the toilet inside. So it's really good and handy. I think next time I come here because the one that stayed out there, it doesn't have the toilet. I have to walk my wife to the toilet at night. It's okay, but it would be better for her if you have the toilet within the bungalow. And this is just right next to the beach as well. It's a lucky guy, it's still in rainy season. I cannot go for the sunset viewpoint because it starts raining. It's not far, it's only 10 minutes walk. Maybe next time then. Because I'm definitely coming back here. Even that 10 minutes walk, I'm not sure what I have to go through. And it could be heavier rain, so I'm just staying put. And tomorrow I have to leave here at 10 in the morning. So you couldn't get enough of this place. I had a snorkeling there. Went up to the pier and I didn't jump. I'm not sure how deep it is. I wonder about some of the poles that they leave there for the fish. They're making the coral reef. But the coral reef is just there. I don't think you can see it here, but it's that a bit of darker one. That's the coral reef and yes, you see lots of fishes as well. As I mentioned you guys, this is a really feeling castaway area. Nice and calm resort. And I'm coming back for it. Maybe I'm trying another room. I like this room. Really good. That's it. Good morning, guys. It's third day on the island and it's time for me to leave God Wai Resort. Actually, the full name would be God Wai Paradise Island Resort. Um, I have to leave that hut. Next time I'm coming back, but I'll be staying in a different one. So I rate this place highly. But you must make sure that if you're coming here, you must be able to Stay at one place for three days, two nights. The food is good. The nature is really good. The beach and the sea is amazing. It's really amazing, guys. You can just snuggling in front of your hut. You can just walk from the resort and do all the things that you want. They have the subboard. I haven't done it yet. Um, they have the kayak. But what I have to do next time is... I didn't get to the viewpoint. The reason is... That's where the heavy rain came in yesterday and that's when I expect myself to get across the mountain which is only 10 minutes away so I have to ab abandon that I have to you know, kind of do that next time because I'm definitely coming back here so again staying with the nature good price if you're looking for a room with a toilet that's a new room so make sure you book the new room it's 1100 per person for Three days, two nights, no breakfast, no food, nothing. You have to come and pay the rest here. So the total of our meals, every meal apart from this morning breakfast, is total of 2,300 baht, which is not bad. You know, it's reasonable price for the restaurant on the island, considering that they have to bring all this stuff here. So that's good. And I, I fall in love here, guys. I'm definitely coming back. So, got why you put that in your list of Thailand it's a great place guys you can't miss it it's really good so this is it it is the end of the trip for me any of you interested to come here you have to contact them through their Facebook fan page which I list down below I'm not sure if they will answer in English but I think they do I see a few of their customers are foreigner but if you have any problem contacting them, just ask me. If I can help you, I do. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel and I see you next time in Bangkok.